Welcome to Dawn of Geospatial World, where you can enlighten your geospatial knowledge with us. Sometimes you will see some temperature or rainfall distribution maps in articles or you want to create a spatial analysis map for your study area with your sample readings. For that inverse distance weighted distribution or IDW method will help you. Today, we will learn how to use this tool in ArcMap and QGIS to make a rainfall distribution map. For this, you will need some location points with coordinate and observed data. Here, I have rainfall distribution data for West Bengal and surrounding areas of 2020. Detailed videos on how to get this type of data are available on our channel. After opening ArcMap, go to Add Data and add the rainfall data as CSV forward. Now right click on that table and display as XY. Set Latitude data as Y and Longitude data as X and select a projection system. Your point coordinates will display like this. Now add your study area. You need to clip out those points which are within your study area. For that, search clip and clip those points. After clipping, search IDW and select clip point coordinates and value. Value will be your desirable data. Like if you want to make all 12 months rainfall or temperature distribution, then repeat this method for one by one month. Or if you have defined mineral data of collected sample water from different sample locations select one by one observed mineral data here i am using annual average rainfall data go to environment and set these settings create a tier special analysis and click ok Your spatial distribution map will be generated. Now place your study area shapefile above this map and set hollow to that. You can also set different class numbers class range, color to your spatial analysis and present that as a map. Now let's do spatial analysis in QGIS. Open QGIS and add your data as delimited text layer and display as point coordinates. Also, add your study area shape file. Now, clip out your required point shape files with your study area shape file. After clipping, 
साच आई डी डब्ल्यू टोल एंड सिलेक्ट क्लिप पॉइंट एंड योर रिक्वायर्ड वेल सेट टाइप टेस्ट पॉइंट You can save this result as file and run the process. After processing, a raster layer will generated. Now mask this raster layer with your study area shape file and symbolize it with a color scheme. 